at the Landis Valley Village and Farm Museum. The museum is 100 acres, 30 buildings, and within those buildings are exhibits. The museum represents 300 years of Pennsylvania German uh, history and culture here in Lancaster County and the surrounding area. Here on the grounds, we actually have an early example of a multi-generational Pennsylvania German farm. It's so cool that the Landis Museum let us dress up like the Germans did back in the day. It feels like we stepped back in time. Be prepared to see us in some sack dresses. Here we go. now transformed into the Pennsylvania Germans. Yes. We are in their dress as they would have worn back in the day. Head wrap, yes. long sack dress, and an yes. apron. The museum sits in a wide, very low valley that has a long association with the Landises. The buildings were built by different generations of the Landis family. The last generation of the Landises create and build the museum that we are today. The Landises had a love of their Mennonite past and the love of the larger Pennsylvania German population that shaped this area and shaped their lives. For many of our visitors, the picture they get of Lancaster County is very rural and very much oriented to agriculture, which goes back to the first Amish farmers that came here. The land was recognized as rich, and very quickly they established a presence here as farmers. For the contemporary visitor, they want to connect to the bounty of product that's grown here. So we are in the mid-1700s, and okay. this tavern is a truck stop tavern. We're only serving two men. And right now, I uh, sauteed some bacon, and I have potatoes in here and some onions, and I'm cutting up our squash. Excellent job. You're going to scoop the guts. All righty. So while we're doing that, I'm going to get the soup back on the stove. Now you mm -hmm. are going to rub the sage. This smells so good. Yes. It's amazing, isn't mm -hmm. it? And it goes right in the pot. Yes, ma'am. All right, ladies, well, thank you so much for coming and working in the tavern today. Oh, it's mm. delicious. Thank you very mm. much. Wow. So it's even um, without having a complete commercial kitchen and all the spices and jars, you can still make a tasty meal. Very That's tasty, yes. Soup. I think what was most interesting at Landis Valley was the cooking in the hearth. I know, and the food tasted so good, even though it was just a few simple ingredients. OK, start okay. again. Are you looking at here? Oh, that's where we're supposed to be yeah, looking? Yeah, the lens. Okay. Hi, I'm Laurita. And I'm Lauren. Have you been here? Let us know in the comments. And if you want more tips, trips, and travel ideas just outside the DMV, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.